Hello everyone and welcome to another Fallout 76 camp build video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build my, um, a train car base um, inside a train car. And um, pardon the vertebrates, they just spawned literally the second I started recording. They just appeared up there. So sorry if they're noisy and their shadows are a little distracting. <laughs> Anyways, so um, before we get started though, I want to give a quick shout out to one of my patrons. Um, Logan Trotta, thank you so much for helping to support my channel. Um, yeah, I appreciate it, man. Thanks. And anyways, yeah, so here we go. This build was actually quite long in coming for me. I have been looking for a place to build this build for at least a month now, maybe longer, probably longer. Um, I wanted to build something sort of raidery that was in a an existing like vehicle either a train car or a truck trailer or something like that so i i've spent <laughs> weeks running up and down all the roads and railway lines in <laughs> in the game trying to find one and i finally found it here right next to the white spring station go figure <laughs> but anyways um if you're new to the game and you don't know where that is here it is right here um well, right where these other people are. Um, there's a White Springs Station, White Spring Resort. Um, you can see top of the world. Uh, this character hasn't discovered very many locations yet because I am a new, it's my new building character. This is the spawn point for the station, right where that guy just was at. And people build here quite often. Unfortunately, they usually build right over there on that flat spot. And so it makes it so that if you build over here, uh, you, your camp can't be placed a lot of the time when you log in and you have to find a new server. But um, this was the only train car I could find that had its door open and wasn't filled with crates or other somebody's camp living in it, you know, in-game person. Anyway, so there might be others. I haven't gone up and down every single train track in the game, um, like in the Cranberry Bog and, and the Mire. Um, so, you know, you can maybe find another one out there somewhere. But anyway, this is where I decided to do it. So, um, I just have sort of a little bit of, um, security here. Because I have my level, my character is level 14 now, I think. And, yeah, I just wanted to feel a little bit safer. <laughs> so I put a little bit of wall all around to keep out the pesky things that might try to come and kill me while I'm building. Anyways, uh, so this is it. And I, I like how it turned out. It, it's not as scrappy as I would like, but that is because of the limited availability of scrappy looking building options. Like we don't have the uh, shack building set like we did in Fallout 4. So the roof pieces to be look a little bit too perfect for the type of build I was going for, but you know, I did the best I could. So. We've got a little bit of a little picnic eating area kind of place and um, some pots and potted plants just for quirkiness, I guess. <laughs> so there's a little covered um, area here. <clears throat> and I got the bone chimes, which are under the traps tab. And um, I just have them for decoration. They're not meant for this build. They're not meant for security purposes or traps purposes. I just thought they looked kind of cool for for the aesthetic. And um, I built this little uh, stair out of coffee tables um, because I couldn't get a stair to go in against the uh, against this because they're too tall and they wouldn't sink they don't sink into these floors. And I could have put a ramp there, a ramp piece but I didn't want to because it would have filled up this whole area and I didn't want it to, so and that's why I did that. I just thought, hmm, that would work. And it does. You can walk right up it and you don't get stuck, so it's a little bumpier than normal stairs, but you don't get stuck on it. And so here's the bedroom. Now the train car is tilted just a tiny bit, so as you can see, things um don't sit on the ground perfectly but it's not bad um the reason that piece is sitting on top of a rug because some items won't place down in here they'll pop up under the roof but 
in case you didn't know, if that happens to you when you're building inside your house or in an existing building like this and items start popping up onto the roof, you can just put them on a rug and then move them in and they won't pop up because rugs don't pop up and anything sitting on the rug won't pop up, I guess. <laughs> and so um, none of these items that are on top of this dresser pop up onto the roof, but if they did, just put them on the dresser outside and then move them in with the rug on the dresser in and then they'll they'll go in just fine so that's uh what i did um and here's the little living area <clears throat> i thought it looked kind of cool it actually makes it look like the the tiltedness of the train car kind of makes it look like they put the poster on the wall crooked even though the poster's straight and the wall's crooked <laughs> it just makes it look a little bit I don't know, more haphazard. I, I actually kind of like how it looks. And I decided to put a little balcony out here, a sort of little barbecue balcony. Um, I was going to just close this off, put a, to put a wall here. Um, but I decided to, you know, why not? Just keep it open. Keep It, it makes it feel bigger than um, if I had just put a wall in. So I like how that turned out. And I've got all of the crafting workbenches under here place to hang out and um, this area actually just happened to have a cargo container and I just decided to put some containers inside it to make it look like I was using it for storage and it's even tilted more than the uh, the train car and so it looks kind of funny everything's leaning a little bit but and uh, you can't put place anything inside one of these unless it's on a rug because they will pop up onto the uh, onto the roof. So everything in here is on a rug. That's how I got it in there. But it worked. I don't know. Just I thought it looked better to have something in there than just have it be empty. You know. And back here I have you know guard thing just to make it look um, like it's a raidery kind of place where like they had guards posted and stuff. And I utilized the terrain here as part of my wall. I was careful how I placed these concrete things so that they wouldn't bulldoze this rock um, area away. And I put some punji boards back there just in case. Uh, the punji boards aren't to keep other players out. Um, like these these ones, this one here too. It's not. These aren't to keep other players out. They're to keep uh, animals out pretty much um, because I had some dogs coming in and stuff like that, so I just wanted to, um, yeah, feel safe while I was building with my low-level character. And back here, I um, was planning on putting in a garden, but um, I didn't have time to run out and get plants. So, but this is where the garden would be, and I have a water purifier here. And um, I use the uh, windmill generator because I think it fits the aesthetic best. So, I mean, you know, <laughs> oh man, it better not be here at White Spring. Oh dear. Okay. No. Oh, that's the scorched earth. Oh yes. Okay, good. It's not. <sighs> Every single time I record a build video, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, anyways. <laughs> Anyway, so the, yeah, I thought the windmill generator looked more raidery. Um, you know, I don't know. Just does. More so than any other of the generators, I think. So, um, there we go. Uh, that is it. And I actually really like how it turned out. And now I will show you how to build it. It's actually very simple, as you can see. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you anyway. So, let's get to it. Alright, so... Um, first off, we're going to come over here and put a floor piece of uh, foundation, I should say, um, down as low as it can go, probably, yeah, and just sort of line it up with this, um, this thing here and get it not like all the way up against it because you need to make room for the wall that's going to be attaching there. And you want it to um, 
you want it to meet up with the train just right. So you don't want it to... Just barely touching the train or under... underlapping, I guess, is what you might say. <laughs> this is going under the train, I don't know. Anyways, just sort of going like that on the train. Um, yeah. So then, um, you might test its positioning with the wall and the roof. And, um, so then just put a wall there. And then put a roof piece, a slanted roof, on that wall. And a straight roof on that roof. And then check your positioning. So see it's not touching the train. So you might want to move it over. Um, my original one wasn't touching the train either and it looked okay because once you get all the roof up there and stuff um, it doesn't look bad and if you want it to be a little higher so that it's level with the uh, the door instead of a slightly lower than the door then just raise these a little bit if you'd like to um, but for the sake of this video I'm just going to leave it as is okay then um, we're going to put in another floor there, and one there, and you should be able to remove this one, and then lower this one down a little bit. Um, you I, you should be able to, should be able to put it down all the way. Um, this one is a little too close to the train; it's not wanting to to do what I want it to do. So I might have to adjust it. Yeah. Okay. So I need to redo this real quick. I'm just going to move this piece, um, the far corner, towards this yellow thing a little bit to angle it. So Because the train and this yellow thing aren't exactly parallel with each other. So if you line it up with one, it won't be lined up perfectly with the other. So um, I'm just moving it over a little bit so it's not perfectly lined up. And then maybe it won't go under the train. So it's, now it's parallel with the tracks instead. So that's better. I think that will work better. We shall try it. I didn't change the height or the distance from the yellow thing. I just moved that corner in a tiny bit. And then let's see. Yeah, there, see now it'll work. And then you want it to go as low as. Oh darn. Darn it, I accidentally let go before I was before it was in the right spot. And so I have to redo it because otherwise it won't uh, let the middle one go back in if it's not exact. Which I like that it leaves a shadow of the original position because then if it slides forward like that because if you put it down all the way and down faster uh, farther than it can go it'll slide towards you and since the controls aren't super <laughs> precise it, it, it does that if you go down too far but so then since it has the the shadow of the original one in there you can you can get them pretty exact back to where it used to be Although sometimes if you let go, it'll it'll bounce like it's doing now. No, oh, well, I can also try to guess. Um, that's not outside the playable area camp unit. <laughs> okay, I'll try to guess. See where I think it might have been, because it's not cooperating with me this time. And then put this one back in. Okay, that worked. It's it's overlapping slightly. Um, but it did work. You can always just move it over a little bit. Um, so that it's not... Because sometimes they, the, the textures will fight with each other if they're overlapping. And then you'll get that flickering. So, there. Oh, no. <laughs> this part goes up. This one goes up, and that one goes down. And you've got a 
dirt decal here that will show up on the top, which I think actually just makes it look more integrated into the world, to be honest. <laughs> there, that's the floor. And then um, if you haven't done it already, put the walls in. Half wall there and there. And, whoops, wrong way. Roof, there we go. The slanted roof. And we'll be doing two of those. And then two flat ones. Like so. And again, if you want it to actually touch the train, you know, do move it a little closer to the train. Although it might be harder to get it to place down exactly where you want it if you've got it going under the train. But once you get the posts in and stuff, it's kind of hard to tell that it's not touching the train unless you actually go like right up to it and look. And it's still not completely parallel with the train either. So yeah, it's a little bit... A little bit skewed. Anyways, all right, so now we need to put the posts in. And to do that, I am going to put a floor. Um, no, Starship Mine, I would not like to join your team. Thank you very much. Thanks for the offer, but no thanks. <laughs> I am going to put um, extra floors out here so I can put the stair. And then. Um, floors. A small floor. Come on. And then another small floor that's off center from the first one. Okay. And then put the post in the center of that. And there you have it. And then store them and do it again on the other side. And you won't have to add a third, a, a second floor on this side, just one, because it's already got one. There we go. Oops, one way. And um, it doesn't matter if the uh, this stair is lower than the one on, that we put on the other side because of the lowered floor, but it doesn't matter. The um, the post will snap in in the correct position anyways. Um, it won't look like it's uh, lower than the roof. It, it actually... Whoa. What in the world's going on over there? Don't know, but please don't bring it over here, peoples. Okay, and uh, get rid of that extra floor. There we go, and then we can put in the... Maybe they have a mini nuke, that's probably what that is. Um, defenses, there we go. Um, put the railing on the back. And that is the main part of the build. And then for the steps, and my character actually can't get in to this train very well until I put the steps in because I don't have marsupial yet. So we'll go over to tables. And get the um, this little skinny coffee table. And if you don't have the plan for it, I can't remember what this one's called. I'll look it up and I'll put the I'll put the name up on the screen for you in case you don't have it. You'll know what to look for. Um, so anyway, just put one here and line it up with the very edge of your board more or less, so that it's right up against the terrain and get it centered. Like that, approximately. And then put another one right next to it so that they're touching. Like so. And then put another one on top of the first one. And that's my little stair step. 
to get up. And you should be able to walk right up it. it it'll, you'll catch on it a tiny bit, but it's pretty smooth. Um, so, yeah. You don't ever get like stuck on it so that you have to jump. It, it definitely is a step. So then we'll put um, the, the balcony out here. And I just have it the same height as the train. It's easier to place it if you're outside and then you can come up here and get it straight and centered. Like so. There. And then just put the uh, railings around it. There. And that is the entire build. Now, of course, you can put whatever defensive railings you want around the perimeter, like I did, or not. <laughs> you know, that's your own preference. Maybe you don't want to have that stuff, but you know, there you can you can do it. And now, <clears throat> I will show you the quick tips about uh, placing items inside these. So some items will place without any trouble. Um, some furniture, like, for instance, beds. Um, these, <clears throat> this bed will not place, it'll, um, it, it says it's, it intersects with an existing object. You might be able to put it on a rug, I haven't tried it, but for sure this bed will go in without um, popping up under the roof. So that's a good bed to use in here. Um, I haven't tried all of the beds with this character because I don't think I have. No, I don't have all of the beds with this character. But I imagine these vault Tech beds act the same way as the metal bed because they are the same uh, mesh. Anyways, and then um, some tables will go in and some won't. You just have to kind of experiment. But if you get a table uh, that doesn't, and here let me uh, see if that one will go in. So you just gotta experiment. A lot of them will and some of them won't. So I think the one that I did was actually a stash box. It was, I think, now I can't remember. Was it this? I think it was this one. This will pop up onto the roof if you try to place it. See? If you go out here, it's sitting up there. So to get it to not do that, build it out here somewhere and then go to get a rug. And just so you know, <clears throat> for this purpose, this rug um, doesn't work as good as this one. Um, I don't know. At least for me in this particular spot, it didn't. So just experiment. Place it on there, and then you should be able to just stick it right in there, like so, and it won't pop up onto the ceiling. And I don't know if you can remove the rug. I didn't even try it. No, it, sto it stores the whole thing. Okay. So, don't remove the rug, it will store the entire <laughs> thing. Okay, well anyways, that's basically it, and the same goes for inside here. And actually, you can't put anything in here without be it being on a rug, or it will end up on the roof. So, um, if you want to put stuff in there, it's, it's, it's pretty crooked, so... It's some stuff doesn't look good in there. Um, you'll just experiment with how you like to decorate it and and yeah. So then um, if you have the um, where is it? The windmill generator. And you know, these generators are really easy to get. Um, you can't buy the windmill generator plan. You can't um, at least I've never seen it for sale. Um, you get it by completing the powering up events at the nuclear power plants. And the windmill, well, at least in my experience, the windmill is the last one you'll get. So you have to do all of 
You have to get all of the other ones. You don't have to do the powering up event to get them. You can just, you know, find... I've, I bought, with my first character, I bought all of the generator plans at vendors or from other players. And then the windmill one was the only one I had to get at the, at the powering up event. So it will probably be the last one you get. Nah. Anyway, I don't know. That's just the experience that I've had. So it might not be true, though. So don't take my word for it. <laughs> okay, well, that's it, everybody. And uh, now this, I know this is an extremely simple build, but it's the decorating that will make it unique and interesting. So decorate it to your heart's content. And um, if you build this, I would love to see pictures of it. So do send me those on my social social media, either Facebook, Twitter, or my um, Discord server. So yeah. Oh, one other thing I wanted to tell you guys. If you decide to put a, um, a weapons workbench in here, I had mine right here. Now it won't go in um, it'll keep saying that it needs support for some weird reason. I don't know why, because it shouldn't need support. It's sitting on a floor. But anyways, putting it on a rug, um, actually, um, actually makes it go in. So I, I used, um, this rug. And I was going to decorate with this rug anyway, so I just stuck the rug out here because I was going to put it on the floor anyhow. And then I put it about right there and move the rug in like this. And then you just put it down and it works. So if you have a problem with your crafting workbenches not fitting in here for some reason, saying that they need support, just you know, use a rug. And you don't have to use the big rug. I just did because I was already planning on putting the big rug down. But you can probably, it would probably work with a small rug too. Anyway, just wanted to <laughs> give you that little bit because I almost forgot to tell you about it. And that is the build, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments what you think of this one. I actually really like how it turned out. It's simple. But sometimes simple is the best, right? I mean, it's just not too outlandish. And it really, I think it really um, captures the whole wastelandy kind of feel. Like, you know, sort of ramshackle, make-do kind of place, kind of shelter. That somebody would just, you know, build. Somebody who doesn't have the, the, the talents to craft their own, you know, monstrous house. So, anyways... If you would like to share your own pictures of your builds or videos even, if you keep the videos short, like 10 minutes or, um, you know, well, no, less than 10 minutes really, like five-ish, five, seven minutes maybe, then I'll see it. If it's any longer than that, I just don't have time. Otherwise, it'd be a full-time job. That's all I would do is watch people's videos that they want me to see of their builds. So, but I really like to see them. So you can send me links to those or post pictures on Twitter, Facebook, or on my um, subscriber Discord server. And the links for all of those are down in the description, as well as the links to my Patreon and Coffee pages. If you're interested in helping to support my channel, that would be really great. I'd appreciate that. Anyways, you guys, until the next video, remember to play safe, play nice, and have fun. Bye, guys.